you panic or get overwhelmed or go numb out of nowhere, your body's not broken. And here's what the latest neuroscience says about that. I'm Jenna. I am a neuroscientist and a licensed therapist, and I study the way the brain and the body communicate and how those conversations dictate your physical and mental health. Because the biggest lie that we have ever been told is that the mind and the body are separate. So follow along if that's of interest for you. And if you want to learn how to rewire your body from the cellular level, all the way up to your daily behaviors without spending years or hundreds of thousands of dollars talking about it. So when you freeze or get overwhelmed for no reason, there's not no reason you, there is a reason it's not just about emotions. It's not just your, your thoughts. It's that your body's survival networks are taking over and there's probably lots of subtle cues in your body that you're getting that maybe your your conscious mind is not registering because we have hundreds of thousands of inputs every single second going up from the body to the brain and two thirds of your spinal column is afferent fibers, which means it sends signals from your body up to your brain versus the other way around. So the body is very, and the brain are very interested in pulling information up from the sensory networks and the whole, your whole sensory system to process what's going on so that you can maintain homeostasis and be okay and survive and do all the things you're supposed to do as a human being and reproduce and all this stuff. When those survival networks take over and you might not be tracking it, but there's might be little signs that go on before you get to that place of numbness or panic. And if you didn't get enough safe regulating touch as a kid, maybe you didn't get enough touch or you got uh, unsafe touch, your brain then wires the insular cortex, which is how you track sensation internally. And it's connection to C tactile fibers, which are the neurons that come up from your skin to your brain that register gentle touch at a kind of soft to medium pressure, those, the insular cortex and the C tactile fibers, that connection there stays hypervigilant or they can signal danger more readily than, than a healthy controls is what we would call it in research where they don't have childhood trauma. They're not going to respond that way. And touch will feel really nourishing as it should for people in early childhood. Our brains develop through healthy touch and getting enough touch. It's incredibly important for building our sense of self and a separation between where does my body end and the rest of the world begin. And so when that goes awry, that signaling actually gets dysregulated and changes. And so these aren't like bad habits that you're getting into. It's not actually your fault. And they're just built into your biology. That connection between touch and your skin and your brain needs to be rewired. And you can do this. Most people can do this through the right somatic tools, the right interoceptive tools, to, and they can change that pattern. 